the famous fortunes i hope you are well today we are going to look at the body language guys greatest fan of all time and that is of course harry's ex-wife let that be known welcome to famous fortunes your host lord famous fortunes with you for another day another another cup of tea and let me tell you this a uh, particular pot of tea is going to be very strong. It is a triple triple serve of gynostemma, triple what I usually put in. Uh, it certainly gets the day going, that's for sure. Uh, it certainly puts hairs in your chest. No, it doesn't do that, but uh, it's certainly it's a rocket fuel. It's really what it is, and I've been mixing it with a little bit of coconut sugar. Would you believe raw coconut sugar, untreated raw coconut sugar, just a little bit, half a teaspoon or so, and you're looking at about. Mm, three heat teaspoons of gynostemma leaf in uh in the pot as well it's it's quite, it is a rocket fuel mixture that's for sure if you <laughs> i got I, I it's undescribable there's no caffeine in it whatsoever but it is it is something else altogether as is the body language guys greatest fan and we're gonna we're gonna dive into this just how much viewing is she going is she doing at the moment does does uh harry watch as well do they both watch together? Do they catch up on every episode? Uh, is that what's going on? We're going to find out. What do they think? What do they think? Are they learning anything? You know, we're going to dive into this today. A real deep dive. So cheers to you. Uh, tea's still a little bit hot, but we'll see how we go. Let's have a look now. Are they, in fact, watching the body language guy? Let's, uh, you know, it's come to my attention through the comments that there were some recent episodes that seemed to, uh, you know, yesterday's episode, episode 752 of Famous Fortunes, seemed to fit in in an uncanny way with a recent episode of The Body Language Guy in terms of, from from what I understand, some of the ex-boyfriends, I think that's what I understand, is some of the body language behavior, just from what I saw in the comments, so... So it led me to think, just how much viewing is happening here? Hmm. It's an interesting question. We're going to find out. So are they watching the body language guy? Let's let's find out. Let's start with Harry. Let's ask, is Harry watching the body language guy? Is he getting tips? Is he getting tips? I don't know. What what uh, what tips? Do you think he takes notes or do you think he has someone take notes for him? I wonder. We'll see what we see get on the cards. Don't look so droll. <laughs> I wonder what are the takeaways he gets from it? Don't look so droll. Uh, smile a bit more. Don't look like your life's been crushed by moving to Montecito. <laughs> don't, don't appear crushed. All right, try to avoid that. Uh, oh boy. All right, let's have a look. Are you watching, my man? Cards are hot. Maybe they get set up a nice. I think a guest house is it. I, I heard the guest house as well, but I mean the chicken coop would be perfectly acceptable. Nice TV. Little bar fridge, uh, you know, a few nice cold drinks every now and again. Put your feet up, you know. What, what, what more does a man want, really? I mean, it sounds good. The magician, okay. Are you watching, Harry? Oh, El Diablo. Oh. <laughs> the high priestess, three major Carter. The prince of wands. Here he is. Here's, here's his calling card for sure. Eight of wands. Oh yeah, strength. Oh boy, a lot of major Carters. Where's my? Where's the devil swear jar? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, let's add Let's add another market to this. It's uh, It's been a real year for the uh, the Devil Swear Jar this year. So, all right. What do we have? Okay, so is he is he watching now? This is the question. Is, is Henry watching? Well, with the Prince of Wands... For sure, <laughs> for sure, no doubt about it. Hundred percent, he's watching. Okay, like hundred percent, and he's watching a lot. <laughs> okay, he's not just he's not just having a little, you know, you know, whatever. He's actually there's a lot of viewing content that's going in. There's a lot of content that's being viewed here. Uh, I would almost say glued to the screen. There you go, my man. There you go. I mean, your greatest, I should say, greatest fans. What have I done by calling this? Well, we've got one fan so far. All right, we'll see if we've got two fans. 
uh, in all fairness, you know, can I say, in all fairness, with the devil energy underneath and the high priest, uh, sorry, not underneath, on the on the spread here and the high priestess, I think we can just go ahead and confirm that they're both watching because we've got the both of the major archetypes here. So, okay, I, I, I look, in all fairness, I went into this thinking, um, I went into this thinking, he's just, whatever, he's just in the chicken coop, he's watching, I don't know, days of our lives, whatever he's doing, uh, but, you know, apparently not, apparently not, apparently it looks like they're both glued to the screen. I was gonna do a spread for both of them, however, we got a two for here, I mean, this is how the tarot works, alright, we got six cards on the table, well, five and an underlying energy, alright. So, okay, we, we, two birds with one uh, stone. All right, fair enough. Tea's getting more reasonable temperature now. That's good. So they're, they're both watching. They're both watching a lot. And it looks like to me they're, um, it's not a card of learning, but they're empowering themselves with this. So they're, I'll, I'll say that again. It's important. They're not learning so much as empowering themselves. If I, if you cast your eyes to the magician, cast your eyes to the magician, right? And the strength card is the underlying energy. They're empowering themselves through the channel. Okay, so uh, this is almost. I mean, this is this is unbelievable. It's we've got a situation where you know YouTubers are gaining the attention of can I use the word celebrities ex-royals I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know what yeah, I'm not quite sure what word I should use here um but <laughs> they're gaining the attention of these people and learning from them and it's feeding back to them and they're doing you know potentially well we'll see but I think it's becoming quite clear that some of the behaviors we're seeing perhaps and I think in all fairness I did see uh, in a few episodes that I'm fairly sure the body language guy was saying his analysis is that there seems to be a sort of feedback happening, that he's saying things and then they're trying to sort of not do them, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, studying and learning, observing, this is a secret. It's a secret. So this is not, we're not meant to know this, okay? This is a secret. And with the high priestess, this is, between between El Diablo and the Prince of Wands, brother to the King of Wands, there is a High Priestess, and that High Priestess is a secret. There's a tremendous secret. This is a very secretive thing they're doing, and it's not meant to be known. So keep it between us. Okay, keep it between us. Um, good to know. Keep it between us. <laughs> so uh, there's that. It's a secret. Ooh, it's a secret. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Does, well, I was going to ask if the body language guy knows they're watching, but I think we already know that. Uh, what do they think of the body language guy channel? Like, what, what's, what do they, what do they think about the channel itself? This is, uh, you know, we, we know who we're talking about, the two of the greatest fans of the channel. Uh, what do they think of the channel? Cards are hot. Oh, the tower. You know, there was an interesting episode that we did on Famous Fortunes uh, a little while back now. And that was, uh, we uh, were looking at three YouTubers and how this, the, they felt about these three YouTubers. And the YouTubers were um, Murky Meg, Taz, and Yankee Wally, the tomato girl, right? <laughs> And interestingly, in that episode, we pulled a tower card for each spread on how they felt about those YouTubers. So uh, I'll talk more about what that means in a minute. But that's a very interesting little side note there. If you're new to the channel, perhaps you can't remember that episode. I remember that vividly because it's very, very strange to see that. Six of Wands, Five of Cups. Oh, that's a very, very interesting read here. Seven of Swords and, yeah, Takeaways, Hierophant, Underlying Energy, Ace of Cups. Oh, <laughs> That's not what you think it means. 
That's nothing to do with the royal family. Okay, that's... Oh, man, that's good. That's good. We have an episode here that is... Uh, this is this is going to be... I think this could be a legendary episode. It could be. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so... What do they think? There's so much to go through here. Um, let's have some more tea. Okay, the tower. Should we talk about the tower first? This is what they think about the channel. What do they think? What do they think about the show? What do they think about the body language guy himself? It's a complete, absolute disaster for them that this is happening. Okay, complete and utter F up. I mean, I, I want to use the word, but I don't, I don't like to use those type of words on the channel. Uh, I don't like to do that because uh, we want to keep it sort of, you know, high vibe, right? But... You know, sometimes you have to sort of connect to the energy of the cards and, you know, this, how they feel isn't high vibe, all right? It's not. This is a complete and total, utter effing disaster for them. Now, you got to think from their perspective, imagine if you wanted to, you know, you were a royal and you wanted to become, I don't know, I, I look, this is a topic of probably, I don't know, contention, but there's probably different opinions on this. But if you're a royal and you wanted to leave the royals, or not step down, step back, right? <laughs> okay, there's a distinction there. If you wanted to step back and you wanted to go and just merch the you-know-what out of out of it and and just milk it for all it's worth, all right? that's I'm not saying anyone's doing that, but if you wanted to do that, say you're a royal, you just step back, just go and milk it for all it's worth, you know, you think, oh, this is going to be the best ever. I'm going to get all these contracts. I'm going to make all this money. And I mean, I don't know if you'll get more sort of status than you would have as a royal. And that's ridiculous But to think. But, you know, money, I guess. Is that what you're after? Money? I don't know what the real power, I guess. It's power. Because you can only go so far in the royals because there's a line of, you know, um, you know, succession. So you can't really sort of move forward. You know what I mean? Maybe it's power. I don't know. We'll have to do another reading on that sometime. Maybe I have already. I just can't remember. But, and then someone comes along on YouTube and analyzes every little, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry of your life in every little wink, every little hand movement, everything like that. And it's just ripping, it's just exposing everything. It's a complete disaster. And not to mention, I mean, how successful that channel is as well. I mean, think about this. It's not, you know, it's not a sort of boutique channel. It's a major, <laughs> major channel. And <laughs> it's a total disaster. I mean, what can I say? It's a total disaster. That's what the tower card's representing here. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the energy. Major disaster. Major F up. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. It's absolutely f So, there's that. Okay. Six of wands. He, the... The body language guy, riding high. He's he's winning. Total winning. Total winning. Just, you know, this is this is twofold energy of victory laps, winning, just crushing it. And then you've got this, almost there's an energy here of exposing as well. There's a sort of, because he's, he's out in public, he's on the town square, he's marching through, he's victorious. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing, there's literally nothing that they can do. Um... You know, and then we could talk about you know, things perhaps they've tried to do, but uh, you know, it is what it is. What can I say? It's just not going well. All right, it's not going well. Uh, and they're very, very. Um, you can look here. This is a huge, a huge source of disappointment for them both. The five of cups. It's uh, you know tremendously. Um, it's hitting them hard. It's really hitting them hard. And I will tell you this as a humble reader. Number one, but number two, we just do not see cards where they get emotional about stuff like this ever. And this is one of those times. They really, I don't recall, I do recall the, the tower spread in the uh, episode I was just mentioning about the three YouTubers, uh, but I do not recall a five of cups. Now, could be wrong, but I don't recall that. But this is this is major to see, not just the tower, but it's really, it's impacting them. It's sort of one of those, it's one of those things. It's just really, it's getting them. It's getting them good, you know. And uh, I'm exposing a lot of secrets here today on Famous Fortunes, that's for sure. We didn't know this, now we know it. Now we know, right? This is this is it, Famous Fortunes. This is what we're all about. Um, you know, the motto of the show is, you know, the namesake really is Famous Fortunes, right? If you're famous, you're going to get read on. <laughs> if you want real privacy, you're not going to get read on. All right, that's how that works. Okay? All right, all right. 
that's how that works. So I'm not going to go read on randoms that just want to, you know, private life and don't want to sort of, you know, if you want to actually put yourself out there and be famous, well, you're going to get read on. All right, that's just how it's going to be. So, all right. All right. All right. Notice how we don't, we do, we do some readings on the Royals, but we don't do sort of extensive readings, you know, it's because... I mean, they're kind of, in a way, they're public figures, but they're more obligated to do what they do. If you know what I'm saying, they're born into the life. That's how it's meant to be. It's not meant to be a ladder climbing thing, right? It's meant to just be, that's just the, traditionally how it is. But, you know, tell that to some people, right? Tell that to some people. All right, let's move on with the reading. Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Classic. You're not going to hear this anywhere else, folks. Classic. In fact, this may be one of the greatest things I've ever seen. The most... The most unreal things I've ever seen. They're looking, okay, they're looking at, there's two, there's two parts to what I'm about to say. They're looking at the body language guy as the expert. <laughs> okay, look, that's a kid. They're looking at him like the expert, as in the expert of the subject matter. You know, he is the body language physician, right? You know what I'm saying? They're, that's the position, that's the perception. Okay, that's the perception. And there they are taking away and, you know, taking away and sort of, you know, s sort of going in and, and, you know, sneaking away with that knowledge about, you know, what they're doing. So I, I, I think, you know, if I was the body language guy, send them a bill, honestly, send them a bill. I, that's what I would do. Send them a bill, say, look, I know you watch the show. I know you're taking a lot away. You probably contribute, contribute a little bit, you know, just give me a shout out at least, you know, you can put it a, put a, you know, make, give me a little 30 second clip and, you know, lie on Harry's chest and go, thanks body language guy. Appreciate it. <laughs> At least give him a shout out, you know, but no, they no, no, no. They just want to, they just want to, it's a secret, right? Remember, it's a secret. We're dropping big secrets to our famous fortunes. All right. Big secrets. Shh. Don't tell anyone. All right. They're sneaking away with the expert's knowledge. That's what they're doing. Remarkable. Remarkable remarkable unbelievable in fact well probably very believable in fact i don't think anything we've read on today sort of is one would look at and go you know what that's probably that's probably a strange uh thing to say everything's pretty yeah everything's pretty but you know look at the end of the day the underlying energy here is the ace of cups they're very much looking at this like an opportunity it's an opportunity to to gain something right to gain to gain something that's kind of what it is it's an opportunity to gain something uh, to learn something to take something away to do something to do something different right to do something different now let's look you know i'm interested let's have a look at what sort of uh problem areas did they want to work on the most when they were watching the body language guy what problem areas if we can see this might be a little bit tricky it may be it may not be but it may be so let's see. Let's throw some cards. What were the problem areas they, they were focusing on? Cards are hot. Four of coins. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's a good one. <laughs> the hermit, the judgment card, the queen of swords, the six of swords. Okay, so the one of the big. <laughs> I can't believe this has actually come up. Look at this guy keeping his hands to himself. <laughs> Keep the claw to yourself. <laughs> Look. That's so funny. <laughs> oh man. Keep the claws to yourself. Okay, that's a big one. Just keep keep the claws to yourself. Don't just keep your hands to yourself. That's that's one of the big messages they've learned. In fact, that's probably the big message. Uh, and I mean, there's more here. There's more. Don't worry. There's more. We'll get to that. But it looks like... Ah, uh, that's an interesting message too. It looks like... Yeah, the big One of the big takeaways was just get your hands off him, right? Don't touch him so much. Don't don't do the claw thing. You can look at him. He's doing the sort of the, he's doing like a double claw there, a double claw, a triple claw, quadruple claw with the feet. He's even the feet are clawing. It's like everything's like a. <laughs> oh wow, unreal, 
Unreal the Tarot. The Tarot is really speaking today, I can tell you. The Tarot is speaking volumes. As you may know. So, what else do we have? Okay, here we go. Don't look so, you know, disgusted and dis disappointed, disheartened. Don't look so disheartened all the time. Don't look so disheartened. I think we know who that's directed at. All right, we know who the claw's directed at. We also know, don't look so disheartened. Cheer up a bit. Don't look so, you know, don't look so disappointed. Don't look so, you know, like you crapped your nappy, you know, all the time. Don't look like that. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, it's a bad, bad business, right? Bad for business. Because, you know, you want to get out there and show your face and be a celeb. You know, you know, you got to really, you got to put it on, right? You got to put it on. So there's that. Don't look, don't look, don't look like that. All right. That's number two. Number three, I think this has taught them a big lesson here to keep out of, try and keep out of unnecessary sort of things being caught on camera. I think that's a big one. Now that could be to do with travel maybe then maybe there's something here about travel there's something here about moving or traveling uh this underlying energy and maybe even traveling with young ones perhaps i'm not quite sure how that plays into it but you've got here uh the the hermit card so it's this is sort of keep out of the public eye more unless it's necessary i think this is probably I think, I don't know if this is playing out yet, or maybe it has, but maybe this is sort of a, you've got to kind of, it's either keep out of the public eye, and you probably speak to this audience, please speak to this, um, let it, you know, leave your impression of this in the comments so we can discuss this point. Do you think it's happened yet or will it happen? But it's either they should just keep, you know, keep a low profile more when, when it's not needed to keep a sort of raised profile. So there's, you know, get as much ammo out there for the, you know, to, to have everything dissected. Um, or it's sort of just try and be more neutral. And I think maybe that's what it means. Be more neutral and be more, uh, you know, sort of you know get get less clues out there probably the, all the things they picked up on the channel right just don't do that don't do that stop giving them ammo all the rest of it but uh, as you know as we all know it can be very hard if uh, you know body language can reflect directly the inside you know that what's going on inside in a lot of people so it's very very difficult to neutralize your body language and be very you know new that's that takes a lot of training all right judgment and the queen of swords uh this has been a big big, and I repeat, big wake-up call for the Queen of Swords. Tremendous. Immense. An immense wake-up call. And it's it's actually, there's a, hmm, I'm not sure, is, is she feeling that, uh, is she feeling that she's being judged quite harshly, maybe, or Maybe she is attempting to get herself into a position where she is not judged so harshly. Maybe that's what we're seeing with the head on the chest and all the rest of it. She's like, well, you know, I must say, just on that issue, you know, having, I didn't, to me, you know, to full disclosure, I must admit, I did not see that episode, but I did see the thumbnail for that as I was scrolling. And it looks to me, and I'm talking about the body language guy now, it looks to me that, uh, where we, here it is. The episode is not greatest hits. Here we go. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There was here we go. It, it's it's the episode was called "Why Megan Never Does This with Harry," and it's okay with her friends. Quote friends, and it's sort of you know you know see the episode, but I think maybe that episode kind of hit home a bit, and maybe that's kind of what we're seeing here with the judgment card. It's that type of stuff. It's like oh damn, it's like, uh, I'm, I, there's a gap, I left a gap to be hit here, and, because, yeah, I mean, there are all these photos with, sort of, getting snuggly with women, or, nope, they're all dudes, all right, getting snuggly with dudes, and it doesn't ever look like she does that with what's, you know, the spare, so, maybe that's what we're seeing, this type of stuff, anyway, coming in with judgment, that's kind of what comes to mind, is like, oh, damn, got me, you know, that type of, that type of energy. Oh, got me. Damn. All right. I'll, I'll try harder. 
<laughs> so, all right, that's kind of, that's my take on today's uh, readings. Let me have some tea. Now, uh, this this has actually been an episode and a half, I tell you. this is The energies today have been really good to read, I have to tell you that. So, uh, be sure to leave your thoughts and impressions in the comment section. I have had a great time with you today, as I do every day, but today's been very good. And with that said, I will see you in the comment section.